get money for the movie. So she put the money up to produce this movie, but it's based off of a medical doctor's book, Extreme Measures, that was on the damn bestsellers list for a whole year. So the key, what I'm trying to say here is this. This particular medical doctor is the person that's, this is the doctor that's, that if he's not experimenting because he's in the doctor's community, he knows of the people that is experimenting on black people. So all he has to do is come in and write this movie and just change it from the black people to homeless people and put a little bit of white people up in there and you got it. You see what I'm saying? Now, it wouldn't be in claim, it would still be, oh, yeah, you still just, you still just, just actually just uh, grasping for straws here. But what are the odds of a medical doctor? You see? And so they got this new thing now. They call it medical horror or medical suspense where they're getting ready to go in and show all this shit these damn Nazi doctors is doing. You see what I'm saying? It's nothing but a carryover from World War II. But it's just on your ass now with the concentration camps. You see what I'm saying? So they do all of this particular stuff that's more advanced now. You see what I'm saying? And they're putting it in these books and they're making these movies. You see what I'm saying? So the key is, but this is, now let's try to, we're going to have to brainstorm here because we're going to have to try to understand something. Look at the magnitude of this. This is not World War II where you actually have a public acknowledgement of the people taking these so-called Jews off and putting them in concentration camps. What we have here that's going on that makes this worse is the masses of the people uh, don't even suspect this is happening until you end up in the concentration camp and actually be the victim. And that's the damn what the movie was talking about. The only reason why he found out is two people escaped. And the whole shit chain of action, he was investigating, and they end up setting his ass up. The cops put the crack in his, put cocaine in his house, and he end up getting set up his damn self. It's the same stuff. So this is a key movie that you must go see because it is actually documenting. Another key thing is this. Uh, if you look at any, go back and look at any pictures from the turn of the century. Any pictures from the turn of the century. Which means that the bulk of your race at that particular time was mostly and mainly dark-skinned people. Although you had a lot of light-skinned people, but the light-skinned people was fairly a minority. Or a person that you would be considered, some people consider you dark, which you are the average tone now, or this brother would be the average tone now, which would be the model now. But the model, the masses of the model in the United States was something like this sister's color back here. You see what I'm saying? Or something like this sister's color back here. That would be the model. That is the exception now. That's not the norm anymore. You understand what I'm saying? So what we're talking about is this. If the turn of the century, that this sister would be the model, and she's considered light in most circles, compared to the African. If you were the if you were the model in the turn of the century, and this is supposed to be after slavery, we want to know what happened to that whole place, that, that whole what you say, post slavery race that's gone now. That means that in actuality they have literally from the last Let's say the last 100 years, they have literally, let's say, let's say 130 years, 1865, 1965, 131 years, they have actually came in and wiped out a whole dark-skinned race of people. And we are the leftover of that. You understand what I'm saying? But how, but like I told you before, there was not a hanging unless they had a barbecue grill because they ate a lot of those. You see what I'm saying? So now the movie actually bears witness that the white rat theory, that is not even white rat theory. 98% of all stuff that, all medicine that we have now, pharmaceutical medicine that we have now, was done by human subjects. You understand what I'm saying? Unfortunately, for the last 130, uh, 31 years, we have been the human subjects. See, the argument in the movie was that we don't mind you doing this, but you can't do it with human subjects. Y'all say, oh, fuck that, rats take too long. So the key is, most of the medicine that they put out, even the rat was a decoy. Most of the medicine that is made in the United States has been made 
from human subject, and we have been at the damn bulk of that. Or we, it been, it's been at our expense. You understand where I'm coming from? So it's interesting. So we got a whole dark skinned race of people that's gone. And the reason why I know this is because you can go to any farm of the Caribbean. You go to Jamaica, and you go to several places, even though they have light-skinned people in Jamaica, and they have light-skinned people in the Caribbean, if you notice, they still have an element where the, the masses of the people are darker-skinned people. You see what I'm saying? If you go to any, you go to Bahamas and stuff, you will see an element where the bulk of them are darker-skinned people. You won't see a, a whole room full of dark-skinned people here in America. That's impossible now. You understand what I'm saying? Whereas you can go there and you can have the majority of the room will be dark-skinned people, and then you would have a few people, you would have a, a great group that would be light-skinned. You understand what I'm saying? But the majority of those people would be dark-skinned people. Same thing with the American Indian. Why is it now that you see the damn American Indian, every time you see him, they're showing you some white man with some damn long black hair with a fucking wig on him. Whereas 98% whereas of all, well, 100% of all pictures taken during the time of the damn great massacre of the West was dark-skinned people. Black as you and I. But how is it that you can, you see what I'm saying? So we understand, when we understand, we say, well, they wiped out those people. We can see that about the Indians. We're saying that the same thing has happened to us, too. You see what I'm saying? Whereas now they show you some Indians. They go on a reservation, and everybody up there looking like fucking Saks Fifth Avenue, looking like England and shit. Talking about their Native Americans. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you, and I'm just saying, but, the, but I'm just talking about the color of them. You see what I'm saying? The color would be different. That means you got a whole entire race that's gone. You see? It's interesting. So now the CIA thing with the drug thing, and they got all the people up in there, that's all designed. Because now you know now, it's the Senate, now they saying they're going to cooperate, and so now they're going to come out with a few things. They had a white man on TV today, one white boy, they, they found the day, they just found this cracker today. He's saying, and I, I knew about it five years ago, because I did some research and I did some stuff, and I knew about it five years ago, and this is a big time cracker. So now they come out with this stuff, and so what it is, is now everybody going to jump on the bandwagon. You know, get Gregory and all them getting thrown. I think Gregory knew about the shit before. He said it back in the, in the damn 80s this was happening. But what, if you knew this in the damn 80s, what the fuck you doing up in D.C. now because the cracker done said it? See, this is the insanity. So now they're going to come out, and this is going to be the big thing. And, and what's happening is any time they come out and start doing shit heavy like this is because they're getting ready to do this extreme measures even more. You see what I'm saying? Even more. I went back to Vine City yesterday, no, the other day. We're talking about Vine City, which I used to live in Vine City. The entire community is wiped out. And I'm saying black people don't have that kind of money to do a mass migration where a whole community just up and leaves. Only people staying up in there now is a few little people had old people. You know, they was killing off them. But the ma majority of them is new people with new houses that they built. But we're talking about complete streets gone. They don't relocate people like that. You see, that means they did the same thing with a whole black community. Vine City and the majority of past Simpson, that whole area is abandoned houses. That means that they have come in under the nose of our people and literally, well, under the nose of the idiots, which we call the black bourgeoisie that don't give a fuck about nothing, no way, that make jokes about their so-called soulful ghetto people. They have come in under our nose and have cleaned out a whole community. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm, see, I'm talking, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually visualizing this. You've got to really, you got to understand the magnitude of this shit we're talking about here. You understand what I'm saying? To understand, my God, the stuff that's on the movies is only a damn drop in the bucket of what these crackers are actually doing. You see what I'm saying? So they've come in and, 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 and it's funny now. It's funny because now... We got shit. Now I got some news last week that some of these goddamn churches is in on this shit. Yeah, the damn Vine City come to find out that half the houses that was bought up in Vine City, a so-called bought up in Vine City, was bought up by a group called the Vine City Housing Ministry, based on some damn black churches. Which we know that they can control our people, that our people might not even know nothing about it. But under the, the guidelines or under the people who finance the church, they can come in and they're putting people in concentration camps. And they're using this church as a front piece. Or when you come and say, well, what the hell what happened to all these people? 
Oh, they say, well, the Bryan City Housing Ministry, a group of black churches bought up the damn land. You see? So they can come to the group of black churches and actually give them the finance to buy up the land because as a front piece, but the whole time they have come in and wiped out the land. So they said, you got these vacant houses.